So when Amanda and I first met, the thing that most attracted me was her uh, big smile. She's very uh, friendly and outgoing. She just seemed like she was somebody that you just, you were drawn to and you wanted to definitely spend more time with, getting to know. What first attracted me to Adam, probably the fact that he is tall and he's got blue eyes and he's got this British accent that I wasn't expecting. And when I had moved to Kamloops, I thought everyone was a cowboy and he wasn't. He was very well dressed and preppy and British and not belonging in Kamloops at all. <laughs> My favorite thing about Adam is that he is so patient and understanding and easygoing. I feel like he's got so many qualities that <laughs> maybe I'm lacking a little bit. And so we just kind of balance each other out and he's just so easygoing and like patient and understanding and flexible. And whenever I'm stressed at work, he just like takes care of me. He's a great cook and yeah, and he's just like fun to be around and yeah. So those are my favorite things about Adam. <laughs> So the person that asked uh, to go on the first date was me, so um, uh, just keeping it light and casual, I thought we'd just go out for a drink and some appies, and um, yeah, I'm so glad that Amanda said yes, and then it went from there. Our first like proper date was probably, we went for the salmon run, which I didn't know was a thing in Kamloops, so we went to Adam's Lake, and I was telling my friend about, oh yeah, I went on a date this weekend to Adam's Lake, and my friend was like, I don't know if I'll like so cool and I was like no no but that would be really cool <laughs> and it was the salmon run and which was is a thing in Kamloops it's a big thing and I had never been to it before and I didn't really know what to expect so I went and saw the salmon run with the, the salmon going up the river to spawn um, so maybe not the best place to go on it on a date because it's pretty stinky pretty smelly with all these dead fish but it was interesting and then realized that there was lots of um, salmon that had spawned and then almost immediately after they spawned they died and so there was a lot of dead <laughs> salmon floating around in the river. We still had a great time uh, walking, wandering along the river. That was like our first proper like excursion date. <laughs> I think it was around uh, Valentine's Day, and um, I was the person that uh, that said it first, and I said that I loved Amanda, but um, I, I got a, a smile and everything, but I didn't get an I love you back. <laughs> so that kept, was a little bit worrying. So uh, that uh, I think she was just keeping me on my, my toes because it wasn't long after that uh, she did say back that uh, she loved me too. So uh, she definitely knows how to keep me on my toes. Oh, Adam said it first. It was Valentine's Day. Um, we started dating in October and he said it first. And it was in like a really sweet Valentine's Day card. And um, I didn't like immediately say it back because I didn't want him to think that I was just saying it because he had said it first and I didn't feel it. And so I think he was a bit put off by that. But then I ended up saying it like a few days later and it was like totally fine. I was just like, I just want to make sure that you didn't think that I was just saying it because you were saying it. So the first time that uh, I met Amanda's family was uh, actually for uh, Amanda's uh, mom's birthday. So uh, she did a big surprise uh, birthday party for um, her mum. So I got to meet uh, her dad and her brother a little earlier in the day and then I got to meet the, uh, the rest of the, the family at the surprise birthday party. So there was a lot going on uh, at that time but it was really good. Um, they were so welcoming and friendly. And, um, I was in Kamloops for school and so I had met Adam's dad and stepmom. They had happened to be in, out um, at a pub for a friend's birthday party. Funny enough, in my last year of law school, I ended up living with Adam's dad and stepmom for my last semester. So that went off really well because <laughs> Mandy and I would drink wine together and watch The Bachelor whenever I had some free time and needed a steady break. So it worked out really good. And basically I was roomies with Nadia and that was so nice. This is Toby's 
think that he's a poodle Bichon Frise mix. He was yeah. two when we got him, so he'll be four in August, August 10th. And we adopted him from Washington. So um, how we got Toby, he was Cavier's Tobes. He actually wasn't our first choice. <laughs> we had another dog that we were looking to adopt when we went back to actually pick him up. It was like he knew he kept running over. And... He came running over to Adam. And yeah. he's not he was not good with males and it's like he knew that we came back to get him. Yeah. He loves his little blue squeaky toy and he loves to chase rabbits, doesn't he? He likes to chase rabbits. In the house his favorite thing to do is on the bed he likes to Oh yeah. Uh, flip roll around, up. roll around and kick all the cushions and pillows oh, yeah. everywhere. proposal. I've been thinking about this for quite some time. I wanted to do something um, special and uh, we had planned uh, a trip of vacation to, to Mexico. I remember being on the trip and it was the second to last day that we were there and I was like, you know what, I really felt like he was gonna maybe ask me on this trip. It's fine, like don't be mad. It's totally okay. Like maybe it'll happen like on my birthday or something. Like don't be too upset about it. But I was totally thinking like now would be a really great time. And it just so happened that we were, I managed to get a uh, boat trip right at the very end. They, there was a photographer there and she's like, okay, so you guys like go sit on the front and then I'll take your picture and then the next people will come. And then I was like sitting and I was like, okay, how are we gonna position ourselves? And then he was down on one knee and I was like, oh my gosh, this is happening right now. There were other people on the boat who didn't know what was happening, but so the staff did. And just as we got out to the front of the, the boat, um, I got down on one knee and proposed to Amanda and she said yes, and that's how it happened. Our wedding is coming up uh, soon, there's been lots of planning and things that we've got uh, to still get done, but uh, um, the thing that I think I'd be most looking forward to uh, on the day of the wedding is of course uh, seeing Amanda. Uh, walk down the aisle that first time. So I'm really excited uh, about that. Um, I can't wait to see her in her, her dress and um, you know then get to, to make it all official and um, say I do and um, the rest will just be a good time and a good party and then just looking forward to the next chapters in our life. I'm excited to like walk down the aisle and just see Adam and because I feel like so we were gonna be like separate the day before and we probably won't see each other for a while. And I think that's gonna be really nerve wracking, but also amazing at the same time. Just be able to see him and be officially married. I'm really excited for that. So yeah, I think that's the most exciting part. <laughs>